Hi, right, what's up guys? Welcome to the Sweet Outdoors. As you can see, we are outdoors. Today's video is going to be something pretty dang cool. We're going to build a cool shelter with a tarp, a pole, some string, and whatever that is. But you'll see what, it, what use that's going to do for us. Um, we're out here in a wildlife management area locally known as Dinner Island. Uh, I got my boy Thirsty Camel behind the camera today doing the screen, doing the cameraman duties for me. And once I get it all set up, my little nephew Kyle, he's going to relax and chill out in the shelter. So uh, let me get everything ready. We'll be back, guys. All right, guys. First thing you want to do, let me make some, let me explain something. This is a 10 by 10 tarp. To make this shelter configuration, I need a five foot stick. When you're doing a shelter with this kind of tarp, your stick will be half the size of your shelter. 10 foot shelter or 10 foot tarp, five foot stick. You'll see. Anyway, this is going to be on here so that we really so we don't bust through our tarp. We want to make this. To where it doesn't tear our tarp once we put it inside of our shelter. Just like that, nothing fancy. Lay that to the side and let's get to making our shelter. Now this might be a little complicated today because it is kind of breezy but we're going to try and worst case scenario I have to rely on my assistant Kyle to help me. So I hope I got enough stakes to do this. I've never done this particular configuration. So I'm not too worried. I got more stakes in the truck. So let's see how many we got here. But yeah, I think we'll be. I think we'll be just hunky dory. So we'll put these here. Open up our tarpoli. Now, I will put a link in the description for this tarp. I got it off of Amazon. I didn't pay a whole lot for it, but it's big. Look at that, guys. And lightweight. You can fit this in just about any pack. So first thing we got to do is we got to stake off the back three stakes, the two corners and the middle to make this configuration. And you want to make sure that you get them good and tight. Each corner, like such. There we go. And then we put one right here in the center. Just like that. Now comes the tricky part, guys. Spread it out. All right. This particular tarp has three tie downs where we need actually two more. But since we don't have them, we have to estimate where to put it. So we know that our center is right there. So we wanna get in the middle of the center and in the middle of this one. And still remain tight. It looks right. Same thing over here. I hope that's right. 
Now we take our stick and we want to go up a third of the way, which should be about right here. Let's find out. I think this stick is a little bit too long. Kyle, give me your stick. This will work for now. The last shelter I built, I used that stick and it worked out fine. Now, because I don't have the two here, this is going to be a little different configuration as the normal shelter setup. And of course, all my strings are tangled. Let me get these untangled and we'll be back. back. All right. I'm going to take this loop. Probably use a longer string here. But seeing as just how this is just a demonstration, we're going to work with what we got, guys. Sometimes in life, you don't always get what you need. So you have to work with what you've got. So today we're going to work with what we've got. Don't mind the noise in the background. It's just my nephew. Now, the normal setup here, we would take and come back with this and then come over here and come back with this. And that's the shelter that you would be looking at. Now, I do have some tarp clips and I literally just now thought about them. I could have brought them and this would have worked out fine, but it's still, this is a great shelter. It's a quick setup. Keep you high and dry until that happens. <laughs> But, you know, you still got to mess with it just a little bit, guys, to get it right. An adjustable walking pole works a lot better because you can get it exactly where you want it. And here's our shelter, guys. High and dry. You could put some debris along the sides right here. To help keep critters out. You got room in there. At least two people. And gear. And it's weatherproof. Don't take long to set up. And keep you dry. Again, with tarp clips, you could put on here, pull back, give you a little extra room if needed. But for a quick shelter to get out of the elements, sleep overnight, you're great. It's even a good shelter for going fishing one day and you want to get in the shade while you're fishing. Go on, Kyle, get in there and check it out. 
Don't hit the stick. Nice and roomy. Could you sleep in there? Could you sleep in there? Well, we'll find out. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, he's not having it, guys. <laughs> Let me climb on in there. I am 5'9", five, 5'10", five, depending on which convenience store I'm leaving. And you can see the room that a fat guy like me has in here. Sleeping pad, sleeping bag, nice down pillow, and we're good to go. Plenty of room for two people in here. Actually, three. Go ahead, lay down. Show them how much space you got. Works great. Y'all guys do me a favor while we're sitting here relaxing. Y'all go ahead, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification button. Check us out on Facebook, The Sweet Outdoors, and on TikTok, The Sweet Outdoors. And, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Got out here for you today. Quick shelter. Got another one coming for you soon. A hammock camping setup. Look forward to that one. And that's it. I want to sit here and thank my cameraman, the Thirsty Camel. My boy doing a great job. Look forward to his channel coming soon. And uh, that's it, guys. Be safe. God bless. Get outside, people. <laughs>